Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a random editing script for AE. What this will do, whenever you run it, will shuffle around the layers inside of your composition to basically reorganize or re-randomize the entire edit. This will allow you to have a lot of creative control and do a lot of cool things. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Try it out for yourself, make modifications or whatever you feel fit and follow us there on GitHub. In the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you want to get help outside of these videos, you can join the Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, or just hang out. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks at the same time, you can check out the link in the description to become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or a VIP. So let's get started writing the script. I'll open a new script file. And the first thing we're going to do is generate a function that we're just going to run everything through. And we're going to call this random edit. And what are we going to take as an argument? Let's go ahead and just take layers so that we can shuffle them around. So firstly, let's define a function called random edit. And inside of here, we're going to run all of the code to sort of do what we want. And then of course, to actually run this code, we need to call random edit a function. And as an argument, let's just take a composition. And from there, we'll run everything else. So outside of here, we need to grab, let's say app.project active item and this is going to assume we have a composition open up opened up in after effects and visible or selected right here then what we need to do is in this case gather all of the layers inside of our composition so create an array called layers we'll make this an empty array and then to loop through all of the layers in any composition we'll create a for loop starting at bar i is equal to one where i is less than or equal to our comp, which is coming in from here, dot num layers. And this will just give us the number of layers in our composition. In this case, that's eight. So we're going to go from one up to eight and increment just by one each time. So we'll go layer one, layer two, layer three. And each time we're going to push one of these inside of our layers array, which just means to add it to the end of our array. So I'll say layers dot push comp dot layer and the index of our layer is going to be i. So this will give us an array full of all of our layers. Now let's look at how we can sort of shuffle them around. Before I do that, actually, I'm going to create a begin and end undo group, which will basically allow us to undo easily a whole bunch of processes at once. So if I have a bunch of code running that does 100 batch operations, I can hit undo, and it's going to undo everything in one click. So I'll say app.begin undo group. We'll call this uh, random editing. And then at the end of the code where we want to stop it, we'll say app dot end undo group. Now this next bit of code is copied straight from Stack Overflow. So I want to give proper credit where it's due to this guy right here or girl. And basically I'm going to copy and paste uh, the shuffle code right here. And what this does is takes an array or the value A as an input and exports it back or returns it as a totally different order. So I can just change A to array if I want. Array, 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 array. So now what we can do is basically say layers is equal to our layers. So now we can just say layers, the variable we already have full of all of our layers is going to be equal to shuffle. So we're starting off with an array full of all of our layers in the order that they appear in our composition. And then what we're going to do, is shuffle them return the shuffled order of layers here. And just to make sure this is working, let's grab uh, we'll alert layers before we shuffle. And then we can also alert it after we shuffle. So if I run this, it's actually just gonna give me an array full of AV layers, not telling me what the name is. So let's grab layers index zero dot name. We'll just grab the name of the very first layer in our array and see if that changes. So now we get balls.mp4 and after that we get majestic loaf.mp4 <laughs> now all this left to do is run through and loop through our new layer array and basically change the start times so what i'm going to do is create a variable called time i will set this equal to zero because in any composition we want our footage to start at uh, zero seconds and then we'll simply loop through our layers var i is equal to zero we start at zero for an array and we go till it's less than 
our array dot length. And we'll increment i by one. And then basically what we're going to do each time is grab layers i and we're going to set the start time of that clip equal to our time. So right now what that's going to do is set all of our layer start times to zero. Instead of just holding it at zero the whole time, each time we add a new layer, we need to go forward as long as that layer is in length. So to do this, I'm going to say time plus equals, which means take the time, add something and set it equal to that. And we're going to be adding our layers i dot out point minus our layers i dot in point, which essentially takes, let's say we're looking at this layer here, our out point minus our in point will give you the full duration of any clip. So now if we run this, you can see we have a nice uh, newly edited sequence of clips, which you could also go the extra mile and make these sequentially ordered. So this should allow you to randomize all of the clips or footage inside of your compositions. You could even apply this to many compositions and make say a hundred iterations or a hundred different edits if it's as simple as just basic editing. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this, try it out for yourself, make modifications and show me what you can do. Make sure to follow us there for code updates and down in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you want to get help outside these videos, you can join the Discord server and join the scripting extensions, plugins, expressions, and many other channels. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks, link in the description to become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.